number one is with a snap swivel or you can put a snap swivel or a uh, split ring on the top and a treble hook with a split ring on the bottom. It's only one hook, just a treble hook here. Second way, no hook on the bottom, two hooks up top with a all connected to a snap, a uh, split ring at the top. And the third, and these are general purpose, but is put one hook at the top and one hook at the bottom, both connected with snap rings or split rings. Which one should you use in which situation and why? If you're trolling, I would generally go with a single treble hook on the back because when I'm trolling, the fish are almost always going to hit it from behind or even when they hit it from the side, uh, I find a single treble hook on the back is going to work best. But I don't really necessarily troll this lure that much, so take that with a grain of salt. Another thing I don't like about this design is if the, hook, the fish is hooked well here, they can use that lure as leverage to get to dislodge the hook so there's a disadvantage the second disadvantage is if you're jigging and that hits the bottom that's just going to get hooked on the bottom vegetation and all kinds of things my personal opinion this is the least effective hook for this method even though that's what most people are familiar with in the western world the most common way that you'll see these presented in various places is a single hook on the top, treble hook on the bottom. That way it kind of appeals to the western fisherman who likes a treble hook, but it gives them that extra assist hook on the front just in case the fish attacks at the face, at the head of it. You can use this for drifting, trolling, you can use it for uh, cast and retrieve. It's really kind of what I would consider this for, cast and retrieve. Or, or, or shadow or shore casting, shore jigging, where you're jigging from the shore, you cast it out a long ways, let it sink. The downfall has all the same downfalls with the other end, with the treble hook getting hung up on the bottom more easily, but you have a single hook here up top. Let's say he's loosely hooked here and he swings around and tries to leverage it. Well, guess what? In that leverage, he could end up getting hooked out. <laughs> That hurts. He could end up, let's say he's leveraging trying to get unhooked. Well, he can get hooked with the other hook, right? It's an assist hook designed to assist. My personal favorite is a double hook, whether butterfly style or, you know, it's a double hook on, uh, at the top. Why? Because I can jig this all day long on the bottom, just as if this were a drop shot rig, right? <laughs> but the hooks are above the bottom. Every now and again, you'll slip through a crack in the rocks like that and it'll get kind of caught, but you just reverse back, you'll get out of it like I've said before. But the two hooks at top work the best. There's a reason why you see so many jig fishermen fish with just two hooks at the top. Can't tell you the number of times I've had a hook fish hook on one hook and they've flailed around and fished and got hooked with the second hook. The main thing is, is if your line's here, Let's just pretend this one's the line. There's a direct link between the line and the hook. And this is taken out of the equation in terms of uh, the fish using it as leverage. Okay, I have these. I can make these hooks, and so I'm just going to offer them on the website, either rigged or unrigged configuration. Go get them. <laughs>